Hey, uh, I just want to show you guys this really uh, good software I found for finding duplicate files. Uh, it's put out by this company here, and it's called All Dupe Download. I'll have a link in the description for you guys. And it's basically, uh, it's freeware, so it's completely uh, free. You don't have to pay for it. And it's the best duplicate file finder I've found yet. You know, it has MD5 um, capability and everything, so it's great. And there's no spyware, adware, viruses, and 100% clean. So you can go ahead and grab yourself the installer, or you can get yourself a portable edition, which is what I've got. Save space install, you know, from installing and everything. And you can stick it on to a USB stick and you know use it with any computer. Okay, so I want to show you a demo of this thing. And basically, what I've got here is I've got here, let's pretend I don't have that folder there. Okay, so I've got files on my D drive that are uh, my pictures. And I want to, you know, this is my backup. And I want to um, compare it with the pictures folder in my users, you know, uh, folder. So I'll select that, and then I will click on this little arrow, and then add folder by text input, and I'll copy that location, and I'll paste it into here. And there it comes up, and it's automatically selected, and I can deselect it or select it, but you want both of those folders selected, basically. Now, most comparison programs have just one option, which is compare files uh, from all so source folders, and basically that just compares everything. And then with this program, you get two more options. Compare only files within the same source folder, so that will compare uh, all files in just this folder and all files in just this folder against themselves. And then you've got this option, which compares uh, files, the differences between the files, um, you know, between the two folders. Um, and now to enable MD5, see right now um, we're just doing file name comparison, so We'll click on this search method up here, and we can change that to file content, or we can include the file name as well. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, I guess that's a good idea. And then you can change this to MD5, which is pretty nice. Or you could go to M uh, SHA1. Looks like they have got a lot of different comparison methods. I like MD5. It's fast. You know, it does the job. Uh, but you you can go up to SHA2 512 bit, but that'll take longer, I guess. But yeah, MD5 is what I use, and then um, I just do file content usually, and then um, just hit uh, start search, and this is going to take a little bit, so I will be back. Or actually, it didn't take that long. <laughs> okay, so now you can see we've got different groups here. So we're going to go ahead and click on groups up here and we'll do expand all groups. Okay, and then there you can see all our files that it compared, it found duplicates for. Now we'll go up to select. We just want to select duplicates in the D drive, which is our backup drive. We don't want to touch um, the C drive files because they're already there. Why touch them? So we'll select just um, files in the D drive. So we do this option, select all files recursively in a specific folder. We select the D pictures folder, and that'll only select the um, files on the D drive. You know, as I scroll down, you can see it's all D. There's no files selected that are on the C drive. So that's great. We don't have to move anything when we're done. Um, then you just click on this little X with the file icon and uh, you can move the files to your recycle bin in case you want to recover them later. Just click OK, and yada yada yada. Click Yes, and as you can see it's only affecting the files in the D drive there. And yeah, we're almost done. It looks like uh, this could not be moved. I'll just hit no. I don't know why that couldn't be moved. 
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close the program now. And as you can see, in our D drive, we have all the pictures that were not duplicates. So we can basically go to our pictures folder. Here, let's open another folder. And now we can basically, oops, we can select all these, go to cut, and go to paste. It looks like there's one that is a duplicate. Oh, there it is. It's right there. So yeah, for whatever reason, that was uh, left. But other than that, this program rocks. I mean, you've got all these options. So as you can see, we reduced our time down way low. So yeah, for whatever reason, there was fi there were file differences. Could be because of disk uh, data, you know, CRC error or whatever. Who knows? Um, but yeah. I can delete this picture. Obviously, it's the same picture. I can open it up. You know, um, but yeah, basically, that's it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you do, go ahead and do it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.